Hello everyone! Welcome to your daily card reading. Um, so, <laughs> this hasn't been very daily in the past week. I've been moving. I um, don't have internet. I don't have a lot of things right now. And um, uh, it's been very difficult. So, this is going to be for the next three days. Uh, February 1st through 3rd. Um, and and I will I will try and get back on track soon here. Um, I, I haven't been able to get in touch with the computer guy, and it's far away to get there to get the help I need for uh, the internet. But and there's not much around here for Wi-Fi places. So <clears throat> anyway, long story short, we're kind of getting everything together. All of, the chickens are very happy, so I think that's the the best thing. Um, that's the most important thing. And I will show you um, the yard in the end. Um, I am outside the chicken coop. They are all fenced in and um, uh, on, a, on a big piece of land. And uh, the, the little holograms is out here with me now because she was really wanting to come out when I sat down out here. And I'm just um, using this spot because have, we have this little flower and I can't find much for flowers around here. So anyway... Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw one Tree Magic Gillian Kemp card uh, to ground the reading. Then I'm going to draw three moving lines, which can be, uh, it's just three steps in time. It could be past, present, future, or, um, you know, present, future, future, or um, however, it could all be future. However, um, it's just three steps in time. And then I'm going to do one healing card for what's already improving. And then one overall message card for something to keep in mind from the chicken decks. Hope everyone is doing well. And um, yeah, hopefully everything's going to get worked out here. Should be getting my new incubator soon. Um, but I don't have anyone right now. I'm finding someone desperately for the market. But... I can't sell myself. Okay, good. We have faith. <laughs> this is a good card. The elm tree. Yeah. Um, so when we feel like we're a nightmare on Elm Street here, um, when we when we feel hopeless, this is uh, the the card of faith. It's number thirty-seven, and um, the elm tree. And seven has to do with um, really enlightenment. Finding finding the the understanding in in the physical world of why things are happening the way they're happening, like just coming to that understanding and acceptance, and um, and then finding the truth behind it or the the truth beyond it, finding the the um, the way forward in in the physical world, and then um, it's about movement in relationships also. It's that there's the the three in the second position, and then message reads. Good seeds are sown, bringing the hope of success and the accomplishment of growth. So, I'm happy to see this card. I think the last reading I did, we got Da Vinci and you. Okay. All right. So, um, interesting. All right. First, we have uh, the two two of fire, and this has to do with um, breaking out of a, of a situation, <clears throat> and. Um, Finding, finding a new life, finding a new way forward. And again, that kind of reminds me of that, um, the, the kind of the numerology of this elm tree card here. And uh, so this is Artika Windata, which has to do with um, really just focusing on taking care of yourself and, um, you know, feeling good and, um, 
you know, nurturing yourself when you're in a difficult situation, when you're in a diff difficult situation with community or um, with people in your life, and you 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 just have to um, just have that faith that things are going to work out, and there's going to be a way out of the situation, a way into a new life, a way into a new way of being. Um, <clears throat> Artika Wainbata was able to. Um, she, she was picked on and then she was um, felt alone or she was isolated she was separated and she was alone for a while and then and then she uh, joined my flock and, and was very happy chicken so um, this this has to do with um, somehow you know finding that slingshot out at some point when when um, you know things are are not exactly as you you would hope and then we we move from this place to a um, uh, so you know I almost want to say that there is there is a way out um, but uh, right now we need to be nurturing ourselves and then uh, I want to say that this the jack of of earth this is the earth element jack of diamonds pentacles um, is osha and this has to do with really healing healing the community issues and this has to do with coming together and communicating and and talking to people and working things out so this this is telling me that um, people need to you know get together and put put their uh, their hearts and minds on the table and share with one another and listen to one another one another and um, really come up with some conclusions um, figuring out that way forward and um, and that there is a healing that is going to happen. And we don't know what the, the conclusion is going to be with the community, but there's going to be a way that everybody is satisfied. And after after the meeting of, of people, um, things will be um, set, set right in, in the way that it can be. So um, everybody's going to, you know, say what they can and cannot do, and um, there's going to, you know, there's going to be an understanding and a movement forward here. And then, um, <clears throat> and then the last card here is um, Dahlia, which has to do with connecting with your roots, and and it is kind of a, a card of of independence, but um, kind of building from um, a, a point of independence and and creating a life from there and really connecting to your roots and your background and your uh, resources, your inner resources of, of um, life, history and knowledge and, um, and also, um, you know, your upbringing and, and knowing what you got, knowing what you, what your strong points are in your, your, uh, you know, abilities and talents and knowing, knowing what you can do and, um, finding, finding a way to, um, be strong in your root and, you know, really flower from, from your own, from your own strength, for your, from your own sense of, um, self. And this, this has to do with, um, you know, if you don't feel like you're belonging, in a community or with people that you um, that you really find a way to, to make it on your own anyway and and then um, from your own strength you know people can can um, almost use you as as that that center point of, of beauty because this is a, a, a beautiful flower this is dahlia um, and and um, and people will be able to accept your unique nature, your unique background, your unique um, physical makeup or, um, and when I say physical makeup, it's like, you know, even, you know, your genetics, your personality, your, your sense of self, your, your uh, self in your own roots and history and personal history. And, um, and that as, as an individual just has that sense of um, can create their own sense of belonging in the world um, that other people will pick up that up on that and appreciate them for um, being able to 
you know, have that peaceful strength in their in their own nature. So, um, <clears throat> looking at these moving lines, it does seem like a kind of a, a an adjustment with with um, community and really, you know, having that communication and and kind of stepping out on your own in in some sense, in some sense. So. Um, we, we have for the healing card um, a, a relationship uh, between two, a committed relationship between uh, two people. And, and this is people that really, um, uh, you know, are, are with each other for the long haul. So you do have um, an ally, at least one, maybe more. <laughs> but somebody who really um, can, can be there for you and... Um, and you know, have that loyalty and commitment, and to be able to um, help you out and in whatever you need, and be a you know team member, team player, and be um, a a, um, a a partner who who can um, a partner that has has your back and um, can be there for you. Um, in whatever problems you may be experiencing, or um, w whatever whatever it is that um, you know you're you're working through and pulling pulling through on your own, um, there's somebody somebody on your side that um, you know really makes you feel feel good and feel um, feel even you know strengthened or, or you know we can't just do everything on our own i mean i there's it's impossible for me to move some of these chicken coops on my own i need help you know there it's impossible for me to do certain things um you know as a woman maybe with my strength or uh you know physical strength or whatever um so this this has to do with you know somebody somebody who has the knowledge who has the know-how who has the strength who has the resources who, who can actually be there for you so you have a healing coming in with um, a strong ally, even though um, you know, even though there's kind of this shift and change in this movement, um, kind of out of out of a community situation. And then um, our overall message card has to do with. Um, sorry, I gotta grab my chicken here. Um, our overall message card here hologram <laughs> has to do with. Uh, really perfecting our craft, perfecting our skills and talents, uh, perfecting our arts, uh, perfecting whatever it is that we do uh, for um, maybe for a living or for a hobby or, you know, whatever it is for, for work. It, it has to do with, um, or even uh, perfecting, you know, perfecting our physical world in some way because this is a, a physical card and moving forward in the physical world. So, this is the overall message card that there is um, there is the skills, there is the talents that that are going to be able to move move you forward um, through a situation. So we have to have faith here. We have this elm tree, and it says, "Good seeds are sown, bringing the hope of success and accomplishment of growth." And and that this me message card is that we are acknowledged for um, you know our our talents and abilities and that we we're going to be successful at what we do in this physical world here and um and we we will be able to stand oh, hologram knocked over the camera holograms okay. um we will be able to um stand stand in our own strength but we do have an ally here so whatever whatever needs to be worked out um, there will be a peaceful a peaceful working out because um, the OSHA is a healing in the in the physical world it heals um, stomach conditions and stomach in Chinese medicine has to do with the the, the earth it's a uh, yang so it's the earth around you that's not it's not your personal earth it's the earth around you and uh, there is a healing and there is a movement forward and um, no matter what happens uh, there will be a resolution and then uh, this this individual strength and then a movement but we do have um, one at least one person who has our back who's going to be um, helping us out and working with us here so Anyway, I hope everyone got what they needed out of this today, and I will see you again in a few days, and hopefully, um, 
yeah, hopefully I'll get internet soon here. And I will, I'll show you a little clip of our new place. One minute. Okay, so here's the chicken coop area. <laughs> so uh, I still got a ways to go with this fencing. Uh, I'm going to be putting up netting. but uh, And then I'm also waiting on uh, the outdoor coop to be moved. And, um, and I also have some coops in the back that have to be placed inside the fencing. So I have a little work to do. Um, I don't know how, how long this is all going to take. But um, anyway, at least the, the bottom is secure. So... The chickens are snake-proofed and, and uh, monitor lizard-proofed. <laughs> so, um, and the place is is quite beautiful here. So, um, I think we're we're working things out with um, the property manager type of. Well, he's really kind of the guy next door or something. <laughs> it's not doing much for the property managing, but um, anyway, we're working things out with the the. Um, the extended family here, <laughs> and um, everything is is going all right. It's just overwhelming, uh, kind of all all the setbacks I've had. But um, anyway, uh, I I do think it is a great great sign that the chickens are so happy. And um, I have to say that I I really have been enjoying um, the chickens, especially since I've been here. And the dogs and the cat are great, and the the horses are are lovely. But um, I sh sure do love my chickens, so um, we're having we're having a good time anyway, no matter what. And it's beautiful. Um, let me see if I can do some more clips here. So this is the view from the house, and there's these are shrimp farms, but um, you know it's it's nice. Um, I don't know about this turning, but um, and then there's more views that way. Depends on where you're. Uh, but you can see this tiger temple all the way. You can't on this camera right now, but um, it's this golden little Buddha on the top of the mountain on the um, far end here. And then we do have a river nearby, which um, I, will, I will go and show a clip of that. Okay, and here's the um, river here, also with a view. Then we have this uh, little restaurant next door that's kind of cool. It's um, probably the coolest restaurant I've ever been to, actually. <laughs> so it's nice. It's right next door. And then, and then this is the other direction here. So there's like all these little fishing houses. Nobody lives here, but people come for um, their little fishing getaways here. So very nice. Anyway, um, I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry, um, I've been MIA, missing in action. But um, I, I hope to be back on track soon enough. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. So take care, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Oh, and then I was going to show everyone my house here. That's Pookie, my, my new dog. <laughs> and uh, Colin down there, I don't know. And then we got Wowie. Hi! <laughs> Those are my three dogs. And uh, this one is not the best with the chickens, but um, uh, the little white one is super cool. He he actually protects the chickens from Wowie. He'll, he'll growl if uh, Wowie goes near the, the chickens. So. Ah, we're, we're figuring it all out. So, anyway, this is my, my little place. And, um, yeah, I think it'll be good. I just gotta kind of get it all going now. So, anyway, uh, see you all again next week. Take care.